this is the card we're going to make today. This was made using Stampscapes stamps. And uh, it's got a cinnamon inside the card also. This was just not a Stampscape stamp, but a stamp that I had in my stash. The video doesn't show it very well, but there are stickles in the trees in the front here to make ornaments. And so, let's begin! Okay, I'm going to stamp on a quarter sheet of Nina Classic Crest Solar White, 80 pound. Okay, I'll stamp. I'll start by stamping the bridge, and I'm going to use some Memento London Fog. Okay, next I am going to put just a quick mask over the building here, and I'm going to ink up the stream with some London Fog. And to color the water, I'm going to use some Copic markers, alcohol-based markers, B41 and B45. All right, for the snow banks, I'm going to use B91 and B93. And I'll use the colorless blender to blend it out. Okay, for the bridge, I'll use some E31 and E34. Okay, and I'll use the same colors for the fence. And I'll use a cool gray C3 to add some shadow. Okay, and I'll use a Copic Multiliner in 0 0.3. This one is color olive. And I'll use a C2 cool gray to add a little bit of shadow underneath this. Okay, and I'll use my C2 marker to continue this line over here, just like that. And next I'm going to ink in some sky. I'm going to use some Distress Ink. Tumbled Glass, Broken China, and Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm going to put a mask on top of the building here. And I'll start with some Tumbled Glass. Now I'm going to use some Memento Northern Pine and I'm going to stamp in this pine tree. Okay, 
Okay, and I'm going to use a white gel pen. This is a Uniball Signo. It's part number UM153. It's a fairly thick white gel pen. Okay, and I'm going to put a mask. And next time I'll skip the mask. Okay, and I'm going to take some Dr. Phil Martin's Bleed Proof White and just dip a little bit up on a paintbrush. And then I have some water in this little container here and I'll just mix this up really well. And now I'm going to splatter some snow. Okay, now I'll take my glue eraser and remove the mask that I put on here. Okay, unfortunately the mask removed some of the paper, so I'm going to put some more C3 on here. And to help hide that, I'm going to add another pine tree. And I'll put some stickles. And I'll use some white stickles for the snow area. Okay, and I'll use some clear Wink of Stella for the water. And my Wink of Stella was too thick and it just kind of gobbed out onto the water. And to kind of try to hide how I ruined the water at this point, I'm going to just stamp some more of those pine trees to try and hide the area. Okay, and couldn't quite stamp over the Wink of Stella very well, but it does kind of help hide it from under there. And you can see the little ornaments on the trees here, the lights are the ornaments. I don't know how well that's showing up. Let's see if I turn on this light, if it's any better. But in real life, it's really colorful and sparkly. All right, I just went out and I sprayed it with the light coating of Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. And now I'll put my scene onto a mat. Okay, I'll just, I'm in my brother Canvas workspace program now, and I'm going to go to the text. The font I'm going to choose is Alex Brush, and I'll type my sentiment. And I will set this to a draw file, we are in the properties right here. And I'm going to set the fill and I'm going to turn off the line by not filling it in. Then I'll come over here to edit. And the width I want it to be two inches. 
And so let's look, okay. Let's go ahead now and send this to the cutting machine by transfer the FCM file via the internet. And it's saying that the tiny objects are going to be removed. It's probably going to be these dots right here. So I'll just click OK. And now we'll go to the scan and cut. Okay, I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers foil quill, which is uh, screwed into the Brother adapter. And I'm going to use uh, We Are Memory Keepers memory uh, uh, power block here. And then I'm going to set this aside to warm up for about five minutes. And I'm going to put the foil quill magnetic mat onto my cutting mat. And I'll tape the piece of cardstock I'm going to use to foil onto the mat. Okay, and at my scanning mat, I, I mean at my scan and cut, I'm going to go retrieve data from the internet. And there is my sentiment. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, oh, first thing I got to do, over on this side of the scan and cut, I'm going to lift this lever up to position two. And then I am going to load the mat. And I'm going to scan in the background. And I'll place the sentiment where I want it to be. And now I'm going to place my piece of foil with the shiny side up over where I'm going to want the sentiment to be and hold it in place with the magnets. And now I'm going to scan in the background again just to make sure that those magnets aren't going to interfere with the foil quill. And so I'm going to move it around a little bit and I'll remove my blade and I'll put in the heated foil quill and click OK and then set it to draw and press start. And at this point we are going at 32 times the actual speed just so that we can speed it up. This took around eight minutes to complete. Okay. Now I will remove my foil quill and unplug it from the power and we'll do the reveal. And I'll use a banner die to cut out my sentiment. And the die is a little bit too long, so I'm just going to do a partial cut to cut the one side. And then I'll do another partial cut and cut the other side to get the length I want. And now I'll use my tape runner to tape this to my card base. And I'll use some foam dots to attach the sentiment the card front. And now I'll use another stamp that I have in my stash for the inside sentiment. And the sentiment says, may you find joy in the season, the fellowship of friends, the closeness of family, and most of all in the Lord. And so here's the finished card, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.